All right, lines are so Chrono Quest just got better. Last month, we made a video talking about now is the best time to start farming fragments. As for the first time ever, Caleb increased the drop rate of fragments that we could get. It was a two times fragment drop rate, but unfortunately, it came with some bad news. Instead of doubling the overall fragments you do get, it would only affect the base drop rate. And that was actually kind of disappointing because a lot of us were expecting the overall fragments you could get was doubled, but it essentially worked like other parts of the game. Best example would be two times drop rate in Inheritance Zone. Instead of doubling the amount of potions you get by using bonus characters, it would only affect the base drop rate and because of that in chrono quest despite the same two time fragment period you're only getting like a 20 to 30 percent increase instead of a 100 percent increase that sucked but regardless it was still an increase nonetheless and because of that i still recommended you lads to farm it and in my case as you can see here when it comes to the fragments i farmed up to 20,000 fragments of each type on every single part obviously i've used like seven to six thousand now because i bought the entire shop and also last month because despite it not really being a big increase it was still an increase nonetheless and i was going to use the opportunity to make sure that I don't have to touch Chrono Quest for basically the last two or so months. And as of today, November 11th, we got some really exciting news, but at the same time, some disappointing news. And that is the fact that the two times drop rate last month only affecting the base drop rate was actually a bug. It was actually meant to double the amount of fragments you get, including bonus characters. The issue has now been fixed, so right now is the best time to farm Chrono Quest. Literally spend the next week farming Chrono Quest, lads. But at the same time, the compensation for this issue is only 10 soul tickets. That was really disappointing because as shown here, I'm an example of this, right? I know many people are in the same situation. I, I spent orbs. <laughs> I bought soul tickets because even though it was a small increase, it was still an increase nonetheless. And it worked like IZ, so I didn't think it was a bug. And I farmed up 20,000 fragments of each type. And I'm only getting 10 orbs back despite me spending orbs and all these soul tickets in a bugged event. That really sucks in my opinion. So I would really love for Kenab to address this. And I do recommend going into the Discord and leaving some feedback regarding that. A few people have said it thus far because that sucks. Because those that did take the opportunity to farm Chrono Quest last month basically just got robbed out of their soul tickets. And there was no indication of it being a bug. But regardless of that, it's still some good news because now it actually is working as intended. You know, and again, a lot of us were thinking this was normal. It was supposed to be like this. But now it's actually different. Now it's actually doubling the amount of fragments you do get. So let's quickly check how much we can get right now. We're going to use 10 times soul tickets. We are using the Cons Bonanza Pass. So we're getting those two additional runs. We have three bonus characters. Let's see how much fragments we do get. Alright, so Uru you slowly but surely made his way to the end. Let me quickly use the Soul Bomb. There we go. Mission completed. So 1 minute and 30 second play time and look at the fragments we're about to get. That is great. Now, of course, what you are seeing here is that the... Not the, it's still a problem to a certain extent, but I kind of forgive it right now because it is actual double amount of fragments you do get. Uh, but the drop rate for fragments is still all over the place. You can get like 80 to like 20. It, it's a bit random. But regardless of that fact, if you are farming right now, for basically the next week, you are getting double the amount of fragments, therefore making it so if you spend 200 soul tickets, you're getting the fragments worth of 400 soul tickets. So I definitely recommend farming this particular month just non-stop to get as much fragments as you can. Maybe go to a certain amount maybe 20k for example and that would therefore mean that you don't have to touch chrono quest for basically the next two or so months maybe even four or so months we don't know how common chrono quest fragments times two is going to be but hopefully it can be a monthly occurrence but what we are seeing here is that we got 104 fragments there 72 56 40 so we got a very low drop there but still a decent amount and we are occasionally getting into the hundreds right 80 plus 136 you just wasn't getting that last month the most you would get if you were lucky would be 80 but now you're getting around 136 and in this case, just calculating all the fragments that I did get in this 10 times run with three bonus characters and also the Cons Bonanza Pass. So I did get those two extra free runs. We just made 840 fragments in one minute and 30 seconds. That right there is kind of crazy. I'm actually kind of annoyed now that I spent orbs last month and I'm not getting refunded for it. But I don't want to dwell too much on the bad things. I'm still happy regardless that they did actually implement two times drop rates right now for fragments, which is what we were expecting last month. So if you are someone that did skip out on last month, definitely. Definitely make sure you are farming this particular month because this is great. Again, the amount of fragments you get right now is doubled. Definitely take advantage of it. I'm actually not sure when the fragment drop rate does end. I believe it goes maybe to the 20th. Don't quote me on that, but it is on your screen right now. So farm Chrono Quest during this period. Even myself. I know I farmed it last month, but I'm going to go back up to 20, maybe even 30k this time. So I don't have to touch Chrono Quest for like another six months. <laughs> That's basically how I see it, right? Now for those running, because I didn't mention it last month. If you want to know what you should be buying, I always recommend buying the attribute 
Dispute Scrolls. That's what I always get. And of course, the orbs. The Silver Scrolls you do want to buy, but usually I get most of mine from Extreme Corp nowadays, and I have 2,000. I don't need to really get more than that. The tickets you could buy if you want to, I don't really care about those. But I usually do pick up, of course, the Essence Scrolls, the orbs for part one, the scrolls, and also the skill keys, because in my opinion, you can never have enough skill keys. But on your screen right now, and I will have these in the pinned comments, shout out to Corsair for actually making this. We do actually have a, like a little infographic on what you should be buying and how much it's going to cost if you do decide to buy said items. In this case, if you're only trying to buy the scrolls, it's going to cost you 3,100 of each type. And if you're someone that wants to buy all those scrolls, including all the miscellaneous items, it's going to cost you around 6,000. And then if you also want to buy the affiliation scrolls, it's going to cost you like an additional 4,000, 3,680, depending on the part you are doing. So I don't recommend buying out the entire shop, but if you are a new account, it's definitely worth buying everything just a few times, maybe for like the next two or so months, just to have a stack on those items. Because you're definitely going to need these, especially if you are someone that maybe can't get the third seat and doesn't have access to the extreme cop shop. Getting those silver scrolls is going to be good. You can buy it for a few months, and once you get around 1,000, maybe 2,000, and that's like a good stopping point and you won't need to ever pick any of the silver scrolls up until you basically uh, run out which for the most part unless you're transcending like what three to four carrots a month you're never really going to run out so if you ever get to the point that i'm at again for the most part every single shop you're basically just going to be buying the some of the miscellaneous items you're going to be buying the essence scrolls and also every single attribute scroll that's what i buy and for the most part that keeps me covered for basically the next few or so months in the comments below let me know what goal you're going to set yourself and what you're going to go to i guess in this case i'm going to shoot for 30k so since he's here for basically a week, I don't mind spending like an, at least like maybe 100 to 200 soul tickets. I don't mind it. I buy orbs just to try and get as much fragment as possible because again, it might only be back for the 70 million download celebration. If it's a monthly occurrence, sure, that's great. You don't need to spend orbs and soul tickets, but for me, I'm just going to play it safe. So basically, I don't have to look at this game mode for basically hopefully the next year. That's how much I'm going to farm this month, right? <laughs> With two times fragment, it's going to be super easy. Last month was an absolute L. I took an L for spending orbs. Hopefully, Caleb can address those that did do that because 10 soul tickets has come Conversation isn't really that good in my opinion. We need a full refund on our soul tickets because that is ridiculous. Is that going to happen? I'm not sure, but if you do let your voice be heard in Discord, maybe we can make a small little change. But regardless, this is the best time to start farming fragments. So for the next week or so, get your fragments up. If you're a new account, start farming Chrono Quest. Push for it. It's definitely worth it, even if you are someone that has no bonus characters. On my side account, I haven't really touched Chrono Quest yet. I just started part one, but I'll definitely be spending the next week farming Chrono Quest. Because two times fragments, you can't mess that up. With that said though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.